Hi beautiful beings of light, this is Yana and welcome to my YouTube channel in the month of November 2021 and uh, today we have the uh, full moon, it's a lunar eclipse in Taurus, sun in Scorpio, right, so it's perfect opposite, the Scorpio and the Taurus and uh, so energy again, very intense, um, things are amplified, right, everything that needs to come to the light. <laughs> is coming to the light and uh, has to be acknowledged uh, right there's uh, it is what it is you know we have to see things for what they are right no more like resistance or avoidance and shoving things under the carpet and um, you know we just um, unfortunately some to awaken uh, from this um, draconian hypnosis right from that um, amnesia and um, that also of that forgetfulness not remembering who we truly are our true divine nature and of course also forgetting our rights right we have to rem remember our rights that's why I'll, again i'll talk about the galactic codex i'll talk about the universal laws a little bit and um you know again we have this little group coming here a fire ceremony and uh, we, again we'll be invoking the wild flame doing some prayers meditations and it's all about releasing the old right just freeing ourselves from that uh, old uh, matrix that false matrix that computer simulation of those fallen ones of these archons the chimera group right the negative ones and so on and uh, that's why the inner work is so important you know we are connecting to our soul to our heart so we can embody our true divine essence connecting to our higher self our christ itself our over soul right because you know we are the column of light shining bright that's who we are and here we were kind of trapped in this 3d world you know with the you know just kind of living life from those first three chakras right the root chakra the um, sacral chakra and the solar plexus that's where they're uh, also we're siphoning our energies and that's all the fear and um, stress comes from the fight and flight and not really taking care of ourselves not loving ourselves not eating healthy food right all the poison in our food water in the air all these chemtrails and so on so you know time to all you know detox as well right fasting is the best thing or drinking juices again we are going to have a smoothie and uh, just been really focusing on very light diet um, lots of meditation um, and the inner work and um, contemplation right writing things down or write down your memories or your dreams some journaling just reflect on everything you know because the old is um, crumbling and you know the darkness is um, surfacing right it has to come to the light and then you know those who are here to be the um, light holders right we're shining the light on it and so it can be transformed transmuted and um, you know the truth um, has to be revealed because only the truth will set you free so yeah uh, so um, please uh, those who are reading uh, join me for some prayers and for some meditation right I'll be again invoking the Vat flame making sure everybody here in uh, is protected those who are watching my videos I talk about the 12d shield of protection with Lisa Renee working with the star of David okay um, that is uh, kind of descending um, from your whether from your crown chakra, your third eye, your indigo here, um, down, uh, this is the sixth chakra, right? Down through your uh, chakra column, you're connecting to the earth, to the crystal core of um, Mother Earth, right? You have that connection, right? And then the platinum color, the ray, um, you know, it's enveloping you, embodying you, and you are um, enveloping yourself in that 12D shield, okay? So it means it's your 13 chakra, 14 chakras, those are anti-particle chakras, okay? Um, and, you know, we are talking here about a deep stuff, so again, my videos are for, you know, those who resonate with my message, with um, indigo star seeds, okay? Um, you know, empath sensitive, some, um, you know, light workers and, um, you know, came here um, with a specific mission assignment 
element where the volunteer souls okay helping with the transition yeah to the next octave harmonic universe number two and uh, with the liberation of this planet from the dark forces and with the evolution you know you can't stop evolution you know it's just uh, part of consciousness part of the cycle part of the flow part of the universal laws okay so uh, the law of one so we will go over that as well and um, you know my videos are for entertainment educational informational purposes I'm here to inspire you empower you I'm um, you giving giving you information the way I interpret it through my soul signature energy signature how you guys then interpret what I'm sharing with you becomes your world your reality right this is your perception that comes through your filters and what you do with it is your responsibility we are very powerful co-creators with the divine that's why we are watching our thoughts our feelings our emotions even our deeds and actions right the energy now everything is amplified right nothing is hidden um, you know so uh, cleansing clearing your aura your energy fields right very important going outside or being on the sun to activate your DNA as we are transitioning or we're transforming our carbon-based DNA into crystal crystalline DNA okay and we're connecting to the a new grid 5d grid I got here Merkaba right this is our ascension vehicle because we're ascending physically in this physical vessel right that's why that's why food diet and clean food is very important superfood drinking distilled water again I was showing you here this book from Magenta Pixie okay and uh, times of Lemuria, you know, those who are more on that uh, metaphysical side, you know, more on the uh, etheric, ethereal side, right? We are bringing the spirit, uh, the spirit, you know, the, the Christo Sophia consciousness here to this physical realm um, that unfortunately has been hijacked here, right? Polluted, contaminated uh, by those negative ones, you know, the, the Dracos and the Reptilians and the, you know, Chimera group and, um, you know, and the... Um, the Anunnaki and so on again I'm talking about the negative faction you know because of course um, there are positive ETs right and you know today also we are very much connecting to the the portal and of um, to the Pleiadian um, uh, star constellation seven stars uh, seven uh, stars the seven sisters okay Pleiadian so um so and they're here so they are here helping us with the evolution with the transformation reformation we just have to tune into those energies and really um cleanse our vessel okay the cleansing clearing purification of our body mind and soul okay so that has to uh be part of our everyday routine you know sadhana i talk about the spiritual practice i talk about the inner work you know creating the heaven on earth from within right if we want a peace on earth and have that peace that passes all understanding feel it within um, that sacred chamber of your heart the kingdom of heaven is within right yashua so that's his teachings you know again in aramaic so let me um, um you know say some prayers um, so one is going to be in aramaic it's going to be lots pray lots prayer then uh, well, um, that's the Psalm um, 23, okay, I will recite that as well, and um, let me um, then surround ourselves with the Vat Flames, so I may also do some, um, um, you know, Vat Flame invocation as well, I have my, um, you know, Mala Beads, so see how everything goes involves because um you guys uh, you know the time is here you know it's the dividing of um uh, what is it the wheat and chef right uh, oh no i'm sorry the what is it the wheat and and the uh, yeah chef or wheat and wheat um uh, wheat and wheat wheat oh uh, yeah um so it's pretty much you know who is choosing light who is choosing um love of god and who is choosing darkness and who is really choosing the separation from god now everything is obvious right even with the concert there in houston you know how many people died the asher world so these things are now transpiring because those things been going on here for uh, thousands of years you know where then those 
those underground military bases, right? They had the uh, that um, sites like in Bohemian Grove, in University, those kind of things going on. And then, of course, uh, we had the colonies and Moon and Mars, you know, so um, the Nazis, you know, uh, infiltrated by the Orion, Orion Group, right? The Sikor Empire, the Dark Fleet, you know, they've been uh, really polluting and wreaking havoc here in the solar system on this planet in this Milky Way. And it's time for divine justice that's why we're implementing um the galactic codex everybody has to you know face their own judgment you know you have to see the consequences of your actions and um you know we are going back to the universal laws the divine law the law of one amen uh, and it is what it is so here we go Again, centering ourselves, very important, being in our heart. You can even place your hands on your heart um, or that's the heart chakra. That's the middle of your chest. Be aware of your breath. Listen deep. You can close your eyes. Also feel the pineal gland. Right? in synchronizing or connecting with that sacred chamber of your heart. Just feel the power for powerful connection with the divine from within, inside of you. Make sure your spine is straight and you're in a comfortable position. Long deep inhalations. Inhale love and light, then you pause. And your exhalation should release all the stress and tension. Everything that is not that old, all programming, all conditioning, the old belief system. Everything that is not you doesn't serve you anymore. Beloved and presence, bright, round me, seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth wildfire to blaze and transmit all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I'm one with the wild flame. Beloved and presence, bright, round me, seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth wildfire to blaze and transmit all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with the wild flame. Beloved and presence, bright, round me, seal your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all discord sent to me. I am calling forth wildfire to blaze and transmit all desire, keeping on in freedom's name till I am one with the wild flame. So that was uh, Sacred Wild Flame, Saint Germain, from this book. Okay, there is also science uh, behind the purification of the Wild Flame. We are entering um, the new golden age of Aquarius, right? Saint Germain, he is the leader, the keeper of the Wild Flame of Freedom. 
master of alchemy transmutation and ascension okay so things are happening it's all just really tuning in okay uh, with the you know free energy technology tesla technology um, i'm tesla towers you know and um just connecting also to the inner earth right because you know this the the presence the i am presence and cleansing clearing purification right that we can also connect to that portal underneath mount shasta california that the uh tell us the 5d city okay the inner earth the guardians the Tolosians, they're all helping us with the ascension we are not alone and um you know they're part of us they're our family okay and of course now the pleiadians right you know they're also our forefathers our um our family um talk about so the syrians and uh the Ecturians, the andromedans and um the lyrans we are um ascending and we are going to those higher dimensions we are leaving this prison planet right and uh, we are um um, just leaving behind all these draconian measurements, you know, everything that was anti-life, anti-Christ, it was anti-human. So the inner work and those sacred connections and being in your heart, invoking the bad flame, extremely important. Also join us for the unity meditation every Sunday with Saint Walter. It's on my website, yanakalai.com. Lord's Prayer, it's in Aramaic. Agunda Bashmaya, Nitka de Shamoch. Tete Malkutach, Nechwe Tibiana Icona de Bashma Ahba Ad Ah. Havlan Lach Madasun Kanan Yamana. Washboklan Halbain Wachtain, Icona de Fanan Shwakan Lahayabain. Wella Tachlan and Asuna, Ella Patsan Min Bisha, Mitul de Lachem Malkuta Wachi Labatishbukta. Lo alam al min. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me. In front of my enemies, you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. So very important also the the warriors right the warrior race okay it doesn't matter whether um you know what the race you are and um you know et you are your extraterrestrial dna and so on and, uh, is the dividing parties now right you're either on the christos side the christos templars right or you know we have the the satanic version uh, the luciferian um, templars right that uh, um, infiltration from 11 dimensions so that's why we're here um those gram crew here coming from extremely um high um frequent uh, high dimension right with high frequency so we can transform transmute all that bring online um and the true heritage of christos um that's a solo christ archangel michael king arthur okay and of course um the lineage of um um christ uh, yashua and uh uh, Mother Mary, Maria Magdalena, Mary Magdalene, okay, so the true warriors, spiritual warriors, right, it's time for us to shine. And um, really dispel the darkness, 
Okay, because it's been lots of black magic witchcrafting, you know, and uh, that's why uh, what I've noticed on um, the recruitments, right, in the military and so on, the Marines, the Marine Corps, you know, by the MIC, the military industrial complex, um, you know, it's and the um, um, the other recruitment companies we talk about a long time ago, that was the um. Jackson facility, right? The Scorpio, the Monarch, um, the Kruger, you know, so uh, it's all under galactic codex now. They all have to face the consequences of their um, actions and uh, the divine justice, okay? So, like I said, uh, nothing is hidden anymore. Everything is coming to the surface. So I know yourself. Know who you are. And know your role. Why did you come here to this mission? And what to this? Yeah, what is your mission? Why did you come to this planet? What are your gifts and talents? Are you participating, co-creating a new Earth with the uh, new Earth government, new Earth jurisdiction? New Earth military, a space fo space force, under God, the law of man. So taking care of Mother Nature, taking care of children, animals, the plant kingdom, the mineral kingdom, right? Working with crystals, okay. Resurrecting um, the Atlantis, the Lemuria, the ancient Egypt. And freeing ourselves from this 3D matrix of the inverted system. Everything upside down. So that's why we are here to correct everything and bring everything right side up. Amen. So those were those prayers. I also, also uh, always recommend, um, you know, chanting and um, repeating the mantra. I'm a being of all fire. I am the purity God desires, right? I have the mala beads here. I usually do it 108 times. Um, but um, yeah, so we already said some prayers, um, you know, protection. We're in a very... Um, it's like an epic time. Um, for some people, very challenging. For, for some people, they're finally coming to, to their power, right? They start really remembering who they are. You know, the true seekers. The true warriors. This is our time now. And uh, really, empower, we're empowering ourselves from inside out, right? Transforming, transmuting the negative ego, okay? So we can shine the light on all the dark places. Okay, we're the column of light shining bright so we can transform, transmute everything. Everything of the negativity, of the darkness of that sorcery, of that black magic, of that witchcrafting, right? That was embedded in the entire infrastructure, you know, the political system, the military, the financial system, economy, the education, the religion, the entertainment industry, uh, the media, the press, the technology. And so many really good people, they either they were blackmailed or they even chose to um, lower their frequency vibration and were involved in criminal activities. Everything is coming to the surface. Now we know who is who. So, you know, um, they'll be facing um, other, you know, military tribunals, galactic um, tribunals, and so on. It's, um, it is what it is. So, let me go over some of the um, um, 
the points here this is the new earth jurisdiction right we're implementing the galactic codex and we are understanding learning aligning with the natural laws very important find it on my website yanakalai.com again i was adding uh, something or i was just kind of a uh, uh, little bit um, correcting some of the things under the law of want law of ra so there has there's been some sanskrit and channeling since 1980s okay so there's uh, lots of books and documentation on the law of ra or a right you can study that as well so all things all of life all of creation is part of one original thought the point of light in the state of singleness and oneness polarities are harmonized complexities are simplified paradoxes have solutions unity is infinite unity is formed with compassion unity binds all things all is interconnected the universe is infinite there is no end to yourselves no end to your thinking and understanding no end to your perception of creation all is reconciled within this complex of body mind soul and spirit infinity is unity infinite creator abides in unity only all is one you are all and it is what it is or in the law of oneness you can also uh, know that all things share a connection with the universal mind all is consciousness of infinite intelligence that's why it's so important to be connected to god to source i'm not talking about the uh, three letters agencies right you know the shadow government the shadow military um, some of the the representatives are not even humans right they're all either in the physical uh plane or also in the astral plane the invisible world and disconnected from uh, god from source and hook to the artificial AI um, the quantum computers right with that Neuralink Nazi Neuralink so people don't even think for themselves how many people don't know how to really dive deep within meditate they people don't know how to think for themselves right common sense very important to be self-sustaining and know how to create with the divine knowing understanding the universal laws and having communion with the divine loving god with all your heart mind and soul so yeah all this consciousness of infinite intelligence that expresses its principles through the natural law spiritual laws that govern our creation and we talk about sacred geometry, law of structure, the architecture, right? In this planetary um, system, the grid, uh, the ley lines, right? That sacred geometry. Because all is composed of the same substance, one particle at the subatomic level. All is information that can be reduced mathematically. All is created by the mind of God mind of god right the force field the golden liquid light prana chi we are the force we are the energy and being hooked plugged to that matrix of the archons right we were uh, powering that energy uh, that that artificial intelligence that matrix that illusion it's not even reality that upside down system because those who rule the the planet so-called the, the the elite right the elite of the negative fleet the high echelon they don't know how to meditate they're parasites but they have highly advanced technology that's why we need to do disclosure exposure of the wrongdoings right using directed energy weapons psychotronic weapons right scalar weapons to harm to damage to poison to mind control hijack humanity's consciousness mk ultra monarch mockingbird montauk 
those who are participating in that divine justice under galactic codex right we had the project paperclip uh, the nazis came over here to the united states the nazis i mean then you know the gestapo i mean some of the german scientists extremely intelligent people unfortunately either through blackmail through being hexed being threatened intimidation right through causing pain and misery the, some of the very great scientists had to collaborate with the with the Archons, the Orion group, the Grey Aliens, the Seeker Empire, right? the Alpha Draconis, or the Zeta Reticuli of the Negative Faction. Where do you think the nanobots or the parasites come from? Some of it doesn't even come from this planet. Right? They're from other constellations. We're not alone here. ET is a real thing. So even inviting um, those agencies like NASA, everything has to be declassified. Right? The UFO is a real stuff. Even talk about the Jesus, Yahshua, the Essene, right? The Star of Bethlehem. Those were spaceships, spacecrafts. Look at Tesla, Tesla technology and his uh, factories at that time, his scientists, the scientists were, were working for him, were working for me. They understood the anti-gravity, the reverse engineering, right? And they were already creating at that time spaceships, spacecrafts. And now we are what, still driving a car? The price of the gas is rising up? We should have levitating cars, free energy. There are crystals, crystal generators in the inner earth. There's a portal underneath Mount Shasta, California. Everything exposed. Everything is disclosed from A to Z. No stone unturned. Transparency. 100%. Okay? so we exist we exist within this field of mind energy and so we are one with it so it means we have to learn how to work with the darkness or how to transform and transmute it right that's why we have to face it we have to look at all the skeletons in our closet very important so we have those tools Right, Marina Jacobi, talk about her quantum manifestation. Very important to understand that structure. So, because we are going quantum, we are going galactic. We are going cosmic. We are multidimensional beings. It's part of this evolution. Advancement. It's a progress in consciousness. It's always moving forward. Those are universal laws. Right? You can't stop that. It is what it is. So the ascension is here. And I talk about the organic ascension. Not the artificial AI. Of those fallen ones. Disconnected from God, from source. But playing or masquerading like they are the gods and creating or you know making all this law which was nothing but black magic anti-life anti-christ totally satanic sadistic and involved in pedophilia money laundering gun running drug running child sex trafficking, all exposed, 100%. Everybody is facing divine justice. We're implementing Galactic Codex. So to access the universal mind, we remain calm, balanced, and at peace. Peace that passes all understanding. Right? It's so important to go within that sacred chamber of your heart, go into your heart. Feel that connection with the divine. 
connection to your true divine essence, who you truly are, your energy, we're 99.9% .9 energy, 0.1% matter. This physical, this is a physical vessel, right? Made out of elementals, the elements, right? We talk about the earth, the water, the fire, the air, and now the space coming online, the dodecahedron. We are resurrecting the divine feminine energies. Right? And the masculine energy needs to be healed from all this patriotism, from all this tyranny, from all this terrorism and fanatism, right? And bastardization of the divine feminine. So that's why those guys also in the military, right, they need to be healed. I mean, that's why we need to um, expose um, the technology of the um, um, the highly advanced um, civilizations. They're uh, helping us, um, you know, with healing and so on. And they need to work with their sexual energies because um, such a misuse of chi, prana, energy, the life force. Right? We all need to face it. So to co-create with the divine, right? We are using high quality of thoughts, of visualization, of language. Be careful what you are saying. What kind of words are you putting out there? What are you projecting? Everything is now being seen. The energies are amplified. Are you choosing dark or light? There's a battle now. We're in the middle of it, right? Between the light and dark. The evil and the good. So, and we bring heaven on earth, right? Paradise and peace through the right use of the connection to this infinite quantum force field of oneness. So, um, for me, understanding universal laws is imperative. Okay, you can find it on my website under about. That's from the book, The Light Shall Set You Free. Okay. And of course, you can download also 13 Principles of Natural Laws from Lisa Rene, either from her website, yanakale.com, but also I have it on my on my website, um, Yanakale, uh, Energetic Synthesis, right? That's Lisa Rene's website. So, um let me see the golden rule right it's part of the universal laws or natural laws the law of response the golden rule that's an ethical code also we're going back to ethics and morals and this spiritual discipline right again for the warriors spiritual warriors right embodying the virtues of your soul very important Right? I forgot the universal prayer from Swami Shivananda. O adorable Lord of mercy and love, salutations and prostrations unto thee. Thou art Sachitananda. Thou art omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient. Thou art in the world of all beings. Grant us an understanding heart, equal vision, balanced mind, faith, devotion, wisdom. Grant us inner spiritual strength to resist temptations and to control the mind. Free us from egoism, lust, greed, hatred, anger, and jealousy. Fill our hearts with divine virtues. Let us be holy in all these names and forms. Let us serve thee in all these names and forms. Let us ever remember thee. Let us ever sing thy glories. Let thy name be ever on our lips. Let us abide in thee forever and ever. Amen. Right? Just embodying the virtues of your soul. That's where we're heading. The Harmony Universe number two. Soul connection consciousness expansion. So the moral truth that states one should treat others as one would like others to treat oneself. Those in the military, right? Those drill sergeants, 
Where's the recruitment team? How are you treating those guys? Because what goes around comes around. Everybody's facing the consequences. Okay? So who was arranging the CCP vaccinations or jabs with all these nanobots? Whoever was involved in it, 100% responsible. So, um, that's why we have the law of intervention here from the Galactic Codex, okay? The Galactic Federation has the right to intervene in all situations where the Galactic Codex has been violated, regardless of the local laws. Those negative ones, those archons, right? The Chimera group, um, the Orion group, I mean, they all were warned or informed. Time is over. This, this game is over. Time is up. They're zealots, right? They don't want to listen. So here we go. The Galactic Federation has the right to use peaceful means to educate the local population and to give guidelines on how to proceed to live in accordance with the universal laws. Please follow the universal laws. Understand. Embody that. Walk in those energies of love and faith and trust and grace and gratitude and compassion. Be the compassionate witness, right? As they... God is Kuan Yin, mother of compassion, right? We have to be now compassionate with everything that happened and we have to forgive, right? Invoke the violet flame, also flame of forgiveness, of mercy, of freedom, of liberation, of transformation, transmutation, of joy, right? The violet flame also, that's the violet, that's the uh, color of your seven chakra as well. So it helps you to cleanse your chakra column. So you become the light shining bright again. We are the eternal living light. That's who we are. With 12 strands of DNA. We are the angelic, divine, luminous human beings. Created in Lyra, the creator of Lyra. by very special ancient elders. The Elohim, the creators, very close to God. So uh, the Galactic Federation has the right to use military forces when necessary. In any hostage situation, it requires skillful negotiation, tactical approach. Every sentient being has the right to call upon the Galactic Federation for assistance. It's all about now tuning in, the meditation, raising your frequency vibration. Surrounding yourself with divine light, Christed light. And they'll, they're, they're here helping us. The light forces do their best to help improve the living conditions of each sentient being. The Galactic Federation has the right to implement the Galactic Codex in all sectors of the universe where the Galactic Codex has been violated. It has been violated here tremendously. Even for eons. So it's time to say no. And um, claim your power back. Command your space. Be the Galactic Warrior. The spiritual warrior joining the galactic command okay so um you guys this is the uh, also the the law of divine grace so we have every sentient being has the right for physical and spiritual abundance right that's why working here um for uh for rent you know you need money that's not black magic money Right? That was again installed here by the Orion group, by the Alpha Draconis, how to control the entire population, right? So, and, uh, you know, whatever you want to create something new, pure, they know how to rig that because of their highly advanced technology, quantum computers, 
Okay, that's why I believe in humanitarian project. I like uh, energy philanthropy uh, from Marina Jacobi. I live simply. I only um, earn money just to cover my bills and pay my rent. But I feel free, the whole and complete. I can devote, dedicate my life, my time to my mission liberation of this planet and make this world a better place and also make America great again right the teachings of the great white brotherhood the ascended masters especially Saint Germain so the abundance right should be for everyone that's why this is a prison planet paying all this insurance and um, all the bills so every sentient being has the right for ascension, right? The physical ascension. This never happened before. So this is something new. This is something unknown. Even the bad guys, they don't even know what's going on. And, you know, their computers, the Looking uh, Glass project or the, um, what is it, the, um, the Stargates project, I mean, those things are not working for them anymore. It's not been working since 2012 because this is a new, this is something unprecedented. This is something, you know, still not um, experienced yet and we're experiencing it now. So do your best. Bring the best out of yourself and leave the rest to God. It's very simple. So every sentient being has the right to connect um, with their own galactic and star family, right? Every sentient being has the right for all information, including the ancient history. Very important to study the galactic history, not what we were taught in school. It's nothing but indoctrination, right? And so every sentient being has the right to free, to be free and sovereign, of course. So that's um, part of the, um, that's my credo, preamble for the New Earth jurisdiction. And of course, remember that, um, you know, um, the under the natural laws, every man and woman are created equal by the creator and endowed with certain inalienable rights for life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And uh, know that, you know, I know I'm the authority, I'm God, I'm sovereign, I'm free. I'm the extension of God's divine love and will. The eternal spark of God resides in my sacred heart and I abide in God's presence and follow universal laws. Very important. And then, you know, you can just read the whole uh, credo, the New Earth jurisdiction that I kind of been working on or I've been guided to, right? I was told to study law right um uh, the universal law right the um the law of one and so on um the the real stuff so anyway my beloveds there was this this was some um like um song for you here for this very powerful um lunar eclipse in taurus sun uh, scorpio because we're still in november november 19 2021 and um uh, extremely important times so please take care of yourself love yourself forgive yourself be compassionate with yourself and know that all is well many blessings and namaste bye bye